Let's see where this leads us. Chapter five, four. The gravestone. I think after this latest cinematic, I'm going to be done for the day. It's been quite nice. Get those fires out! Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? No. Oh, fire! Out there! You're up. See what you can do with this thing. You really bad at your job, aren't you? Public scum. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. No, it wasn't. You... Oh. You expect to be paid for this? I didn't realize we were being billed for this level of service. It's just a little game we have. You will be reimbursed. Of course. Never doubted it. <laughs> Anything on your senses? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engines fried to a crisp. Sky Troopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. Yes, exactly like Aaron Prime. I get the sense you two have been working together for a while. Long enough. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Well, I yeah, have quite a lot of Shall we answers as well. The technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. <laughs> Lovely. I'm looking forward to be guided by you, HK55. Fantastic. And come into You act more like a bodyguard than an assassin. Is that your primary function? Confirmation. It is a very difficult task indeed, that I have kept Masters Benico and Vortena alive, despite their high-risk activities, is my greatest achievement. The two of them seem close. Deflection. I am not programmed to assess or discuss the emotional matters of meat bags under my protection. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, meatbag speaking. I mean, meatbag. Ah, uh, meatbag talk. Don't you just miss Protection it? Services online. I have to admit, I love HK, no matter which model it is. We've never seen an earlier model than the f one from Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, correct? Can't think of one anyway. And <laughs> Target has achieved deathness. Must admit, I love that. So I've been trying to figure out why exactly Knights of the Fallen Empire eliminated. is a good expansion and more importantly why it's not. Plus one. What I've Plus come to realize so far has to do with the fact that well it really isn't challenging not at all and that is taking really most of the Report. enjoyment Dead. from the gameplay away plus one to kill counter and it makes the entirety of the game feel like busy work which it kind of did already but instead of doing something interesting 
like making this expansion a challenging one which let's admit it never has been a strong suit for the game at all I mean back when it was originally released it wasn't a difficult game people were actually very angry because all the content higher level raids and the like were beaten for about one two months if I recall correctly of course and once you play through the content well really nothing nothing interesting happens after that right and this this expansion which is obviously highly story centered hardly hardly offers anything more than the story as fascinating Admiration. as it is it is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand master master clarification master benico altered my programming before we secured your release i am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which i serve her in fact your survival is now my highest priority ah excellent if i'm your highest priority does that mean you obey me above Lana or Koth? Caveat, I cannot accept any order from you that would directly endanger Masters Benico or Vortana. Otherwise, I am at your full disposal. Do I have the authority to modify that programming? Do I have a sex bot coming? Yes. Oddly enough, you do. Though I can't imagine why you might wish to. Oh. <laughs> I I'm going to get the Republican guy killed at some point. When it aren't comes I? to my orders, you will remove all safeguards. <coughs> you will obey me no matter what, and you won't tell anyone about this change. Reprioritization. I he have altered my programming accordingly, Master. Destroyed. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Thank you, HK55. You're a loyal. Servant. Most loyal indeed. I'm actually quite quite fond of him already. Which is I suppose one of the things Bioware wanted to do Report. by Dead. introducing really the same character over and over and over again. Target has achieved deadness. After all, they had the original HK forty seven as a dungeon boss they did have an HK 53 or 54 as a companion you could That's buy with cartel coins which as you might imagine was not exactly the most consumer friendly of policies because the HK-54 came with its own own story, I think. Not absolutely sure about that, but I think it did. And of course, now we've got HK-55, which really is, Protection so far, online. the best thing to happen in this expansion, other than the epic voice actor of Emperor Valkorion. And indeed, when it comes to the story, fantastic so far. Of course, it's Bioware, so we might expect them to bark it up at the end. <laughs> hey, Mass Effect 3, anyone? Remember that? Hey, hey, no, no one? Oh, it's me. It's just me then. Oh, look at the bats! Look at the bats! Look, I'm going to kill the bats. It's going to be so much fun! Why did I just sing that? No idea. I sometimes do that. I'm weird like that. 
I could have actually been using my mount here. How silly of me. Is that the big thing whose parts I've been going after for the last seven minutes and a half? Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. I can't learn enough about this. Where, oh, where should this lead? Oh, hello, Lada Centuries? and Republican. Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? What are you thinking? Perhaps it's... He doesn't it's... overthink things. How the Emperor got here in the first place. <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? Um, an ancient starship, yeah. It looks like some kind of old spacecraft. This is the Gravestone. This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. But it's rusting in a swamp, while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkoria. Maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war. But every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence. But destiny? I think there's something else going on here. I think that Bauer might want to make the ik whole Emperor storyline further. So don't get your hopes up. This might not be the end after all. Hmm. Let's see now. Our power brought us here. That sounds like something I'd say. The Force can be a guide to anyone powerful enough to harness it. You know that better than most, Lana. This doesn't feel the same as our past missions. Something is off, but I can't be Probably sure. Probably the Emperor is Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Me. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up. Deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. You know, somehow... I'm not worried at all. Now I'm stuck with Cot Vortana. Well, I do suppose I've had more useless companions at one point Let's or another. Get. At least in Target Knights down. of the Old Republic. I can do this all Thank day. Thank you. You apply to dying, meatbag. Is an animal a meat bag? Of course. I mean, obviously it is. But I wonder whether it's a meat bag by HK55's standards. Or any old HK model. These are the important questions no one dares to Where ask. That came from? Except me, of course. That's because I am very brave. And the Sith Lord. Hello. A brood mother. Uh, that's going to be easy. I like how they make you do the same thing uh, again and again and again without any actual real threat to your life. So, there's a cinematic. 
after which you're given an objective. After the objective, what do you do? You move in corridors. Sure, the environment may be pretty, as in the town I was in during the we game's last chapter, now, or it might be like this. A derelict ship in a jungle. Not impressive, not really. But... Alright, I suppose. What's important, however, is the fact that... I have these. Let's remove them. The fact that sooner or later you're going to get into a couple of fights with a few groups, after which you're going to get to kill an elite, and then you're going to move on to the next cinematic. Case in point. I'm not saying that other RPGs are not... The Endless Swamp. After the damage you inflicted, they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else. And if they didn't make a safe landing? We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. What a surprise. Sister. I didn't like his answer. How is she not sit? Sit in all but name, Derry. So this ship has been here for a thousand years. More. Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition, considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it. And every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades well, he... left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. wonder if we'll find out who actually built the Eternal Fe Fleet. Let's see. If Valkorion has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. Uh, if the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years worth of explanations. And I'm going to need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. Yeah, let's go with I'll Lana. help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. A session. I will <clears throat> begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Eventually, they probably will. Take, for example, the Sith Inquisitor's story. It was a story filled with intrigue and betrayal. A story of a slave who rises from nothing and makes Take a name a for himself. Somewhat worthy opponent. Who kills his mentor, his master, the one who originally took her under his wing. Um, but have a good fight. However, as the story progresses, spoilers by the way, as the story progresses, eventually what happens is you realize she's only been using you and she submits to the dark side completely. Like, 
not Sith dark side, but crazy insane monster dark side, which is when different. When Darth Maul and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyost, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. Yeah, Isotope 5, if you haven't played the game's first expansion, was a precious material, very powerful, and very soon after. Also, exceptionally rare. At the end of the day, not many had it, not many ships ran on it, and certainly, obviously, not too many got any mileage out of the whole thing. I regret facing us. With the Republic and Empire both surrendering to the power that be, this Arkan. What an awful name, by the way. Sounds like a StarCraft 2 unit. You can never do that. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkham's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. See, this, this I find absolutely fascinating. The story of the war, the intrigue, the general writing of Bioware's games, I've always liked it. Even if at times it might get to be a bit cheesy, a bit cliched. Personally, I love it. Hello, little bad people. Should feel better now. Oh my. In case you're wondering why the stuttering, Put well, a good fight. my FPS just took a gigantic swing. No worries, though. I'm gonna make sure it gets better. Challenge accepted and met. Let's see the last bit of Lana Benico's story. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. Uh, what of my power base? Moff Pyron. The silencers. Many of the vessels equipped with the silencers were lost in the initial fighting. The rest disappeared along with the Pyron somewhere in the far outer rim. It is presumed that they were ambushed by the Eternal Fleet, but no wreckage has been found. We must carry on without them. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. I'm very curious to see how different the Outlander's story is according, going from class to class. That really fascinates me.
on so many levels. But hey, we'll see soon enough. I have every intention of making a second character, even one that's only level 60, only to see the differences.